Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you again in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is not dead, but he is alive forevermore. And for the month we have been praying about, growing in gratitude. That's right. We want to grow in our gratitude to God, and we know that there are at least four benefits to us growing in our gratitude to God. Number one, gratitude pleases God that he told us, and we're going to find out here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, that gratitude pleases God. And we know that when we are grateful, according to Psalm 100, it brings us into the presence of God, entering into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And we know that when we have an attitude of gratitude, it ushers in the peace of God. God says when we are thankful to him and we pray to him and supplicate to him, that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, guards your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. And then lastly, gratitude allows us to partner with other people because when we're grateful for what God is doing in our life, then we can be grateful and celebrate what God is doing in the life of those that are around us. And so today we're going to be praying from 1 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16 through 18 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what it says. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Again, it says in verse 16, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Come on, let's pray. Lord, we love you today and we honor you and bless and praise your holy name. God, we lift you up and magnify you. God, we come to you with thanksgiving in our hearts. Lord, we are rejoicing in this day that you have made, and we are glad in it. Jesus, thank you for your love for us. Thank you for demonstrating your love for us, God, that while we were yet sinners, you allowed Christ to die for us. Thank you for raising Jesus from the dead. Thank you, God, that he is alive forevermore. Thank you that there is eternal life in the name of Jesus. And because of that, Lord God, we have joy that is unspeakable. In fact, God, this joy that we have, the Lord didn't give it to us or the world didn't give it to us and no one can take it away. Lord, that your grace is sufficient and your mercies are new every morning. So, Lord God, we rejoice in who you are and we rejoice in who we are in you. Lord, we come to you today being obedient to your word. You told us in your word that we ought to pray without ceasing. Thank you for these days of prayer. Thank you for this time of devotion in prayer to you. Thank you for the social media platforms that allow us to pray together, even though we may not be together physically, but we're together in spirit, calling upon your name, believing you for great things, being grateful to you for who you are and what you've already done. Lord, teach us how to pray today. Give us the development of our character and the development in our souls to be consistent in our prayer life. Help us to pray together, one for another. Help us to pray in the Spirit, even when we don't know what to pray for, knowing that your Spirit makes intercessions for us and takes our prayers to the throne of grace and adds to them those things that need to be added, and then the Spirit removes the things that need to be removed so that our prayers will be a pleasing prayer in your sight. And Lord God, in everything, you told us to give thanks. So God, we give thanks even in our trials. We give thanks even in our troubles. God, we give thanks even in the things that we go through. For we know that the trying of our faith produces patience. And Lord, when patience has had its perfect work, we pray you would be pleased with us. God, we thank you for healing. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for bringing us out. We thank you for opening doors and making ways. We thank you for bonuses and raises financially. We thank you for spiritual blessings. We thank you for emotional and psychological blessings. God, we have so many things to be thankful for. And Lord God, we agree with the psalmist that if we had 10,000 tongues, oh God, we would not be able to give your name the praise and honor it so richly deserves. And Lord God, we know that it is your will that we give you thanks in all things. 
We thank you, Lord, for this time and privilege of prayer. We thank you for this time and season of prayer in our lives. God, we pray and thank you for giving us an attitude of gratitude. Lord, help us to not always look at our circumstances because our circumstances change, but help us to stay focused on you as Christ in our life, as the anointed one, as the Messiah, as the master and the beginner and finisher of our faith. Thank you, Lord, that while our circumstances may change, you never change. For you are God all by yourself. And you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So no matter what's changing and chaotic in our lives, Lord, you are constant and you remain the same. And so for that, Lord God, we give you praise and glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. I pray you're growing in your gratitude each and every day as we're praying these prayers. And again, today was day number 17. And we pray today from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16 through 18. And it reads, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Listen, I love you in the Lord, beloved. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Until then, be victorious. God bless.